Hello everybody, we're at the last day of the China International Import Expo here in Shanghai. I'm Oscar Margain and oh, this is my Danny. colleague. Yes, hi Danny, <laughs> thank you so much. It's going to be our last tour. Yeah, last tour in the trading services pavilion today. Yes, it's been an incredible, you know, last several days. We've get, gotten to know a lot of the companies that are showcasing their products, their services. But we're not done. We still have, like you mentioned, the trade-in services to still talk about, which are still very important and uh, sometimes may get overlooked. Yeah, uh -huh. actually, you're not going to see something like visually uh, vivid here, but they're providing services that we cannot see, but still they can help us uh, like change our life a lot. Exactly. So, when we talk of services, just like you said, yeah. we don't have necessarily a physical, tangible product to touch or to see. But it's, it's the services that they provide that are so important to today's global market. And uh, that's why they're here at CIIE, because this is an expo that uh, really is here to, to showcase these services so that we can move on, continue and grow in our economies, which are so intertwined economically, uh, can continue to prosper. So uh, what do we have here, Danny? Like here, uh, we actually got logistic companies, PR services, yeah. and consulting companies. And the first one we're going to look at is a actually cultural uh, museum. They are exhibited online right now because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. So they open up this website to, uh, for people that you can browse it, like the pictures online. But they're going to sign a deal with Chinese government as well, like next, next year. Okay. And we can talk to our guests and let her to introduce and tour us around this place. Awesome. And again, okay. this is the uh, Rockefeller Center Art Center. Uh, Rockefeller obviously is a huge name known in the States and New York. So I, I'm eager to find out what, what they have to offer. Uh, hello there. Hello there. I think our guest is oh, over she's over here. So uh, she's Xu Xingjie and she's going to uh, like tell us around this place. Okay, do you have any questions? For yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm curious about what exactly is this? Because just based on this uh, exhibit, I, I can only tell that they're, they're introducing art centers into commercial places. Is that, is that correct? Uh -huh. So yeah, they are founded by this, uh, how, how to pronounce it? It's, it's like a, an American... Uh, American uh, Rockefeller, yeah. Oh, the Rockefeller, They are founded yes. by them, and this is actually their first time ever coming to China. Uh, this is their first time in CIIE as well, and as you can see, uh, their idea, the main thing is to try to uh, collaborate the art and city uh, together and make it uh, like a fusion okay. environment. So does that mean that they bring art, art uh, pieces and artifacts from all over the world and they try to showcase it in China? Is that what it is? Shida 所以你們也是會把這個畫展,就是中國的畫放到你比如說紐約去展覽。對,是是是。Oh, so they're not only they are going to bring like the pictures and artworks around the world to China, but also they want to build up a bridge so they can culture exchange. They also uh, oh. can bring Chinese paintings and artwork to their New York center. Okay. Yeah. Do they have some art pieces here on display in this exhibit? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at and see what they've got here because it's an actually, uh, I think, a pretty, uh, pretty cool um, uh, booth that they have. Yeah. 
because of they made it to look, look like an, a museum. So this is a series by a uh, Chinese uh, artist called mm. Xue Song, and uh, they got a series, like four mm. pictures, which each represent spring, autumn, summer, and winter. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. And so uh, my question is, do they bring these art pieces and where do they present them? Is it at a mall? Is it at a hotel? You know, I'm just kind of curious to know. Because现在是只是线上的嘛, 那么我们这个艺术中心是由这个美国洛菲的家族投资 Actually, uh, yeah, they are they, they are going to exhibit it in the museums or art galleries, but also they are also doing the art um, work trading. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, community. so if I understand this correctly, if I'm an artist and I, or I am a museum, um, and I wanted to to feature my some of the artwork uh, elsewhere, they would be able to facilitate that, is that correct? 对, 比如说他的问题, 如果他是一个, 就是艺术家, 或者他在运营一个, 博, 那个博物馆, 那他就是可以跟你们联络, 你们可以用什么样的方式帮助到这些人? 是这样的, 我们可以, 首先可以进行这个, 呃, 联名合作, 那如果说这个从艺术家的这个联名角度的话来说，我们现在也是在挖掘更多的优秀的当年当代艺术家。那我们也是想对一些青年艺术家进行一些孵化，能帮他们的这个作品能走向更大的这个展览的舞台。那并
Uh, my other question is, how su successful has this been uh, for, for them here at CIIE? Have, been, uh, have they been able to make contacts, uh, make some deals, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 是这样的yeah, so basically you're going to cooperate and work with the Chinese government mm. and sponsored by them as well and also another three art companies. I think they signed intended deals with them. Nice, nice. Congratulations. <laughs> We're going to move on here? Okay. Okay. Well, that was, that was interesting. Um, I, again, I've never seen anything. What, were, what was your impression? My impression, last year I was here in Trading Services Exhibition Hall as well, but I would never see anything related to culture service. Right, yeah, yeah. cultures and art, right. And, and I'm a big fan of museums and exhibition centers, so yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited. And uh, we were talking about uh, cultural exchanges, right? Uh, yeah. That was mentioned earlier. And what better way to do it with, than, than with art? You know, of course, there's a lot of economic and trade, a lot of uh, uh, products that are being exchanged around the world, but, um, but art is another form uh, to, to appreciate each other's culture. And uh, the fact that they're here speaks volumes to, you know, their, the, the intention, the intent to want to share that culture and have that exchange and, and those partnerships. Uh, regardless of the politics that are going on in the world. So yeah. um, that's very interesting. So um, that was that. Was that. And uh, so we're moving on here. We're going, we're going to uh, our next booth. And uh, just so our audiences know, like when, we, when we're choosing some of these uh, places to talk to, uh, yeah. usually we try to seek somebody who, uh, who either speaks English or can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in yeah. this case, it wasn't possible. But uh, at the same time, we're trying to find something unique. Uh, that stands out, right? Yeah, yeah, especially in this trading services exhibition hall, like you cannot put your expectation too high because no fancy cars, no airplanes, or food to eat, but only like <laughs> services. Right. Um, uh, but even so, they bring these ex uh, exhibits, and they're very fancy. I'm, I'm yeah, awed and impressed at, at the effort the the, the put into having a very attractive looking mm. uh, exhibit here. Their booths. They decorate them very well. They have them very presentable because they want to stand out, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's just so much competition out here. And talking so. about services, like here, I think there is a group of um, smartest people ever in the world. They gather here and to provide services. Exactly. So the next one we're going to is um, a logistic company, mm -hmm. which is, I've been told, the oldest um, freight logistic in the world, uh, company in the world, company okay. in the world. They've been established for over a hundred and thirty years. Logistics, okay, very nice. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about freight, uh, freight and uh, uh, containers and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, and very we're nice. going to have our guest Lily Ma, who is hello, Lily. hello, hello, hello Lily. Lily. <laughs> very hello. nice to meet you. Yes, thank very you nice so to much. Meet you too. Yes. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good. We we just came and uh, we tour around this place a bit. And so we wanted to know a little bit more. We, um, Danny was explaining to our audience that this is one of the uh, oldest uh, companies that uh, uses uh, logistics to try to yeah, move yeah. products around with, through freight services, correct? Yeah. Okay. We, we have been a logistic company since 1890. So 1890. this, so it's over 130 years. Wow. So and and freight business uh, now it's uh, a pillar stone for uh, facilitating their international trade. That's why we are here. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you have a question for that? Uh, yeah, you have a uh, question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to so, know a bit more about us? Yes, of course. So tell us about what is it, what is it exactly that, that tell us uh, in simple terms mm -hmm. uh, so that people can understand exactly what it is that you do. Let's say mm -hmm. I have products in the US that I want to get shipped to other parts of the world. How do you come into play? Well, you know, um, 
if you are, let's say, a, a, a shipper, a, a company produce uh, merchandise or commodities, you wanted to sell to the all over the world, and uh, you don't have the uh, uh, facilities or you don't have the uh, uh, knowledge to move the goods around the world. You need uh, people, uh, you need the uh, 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 transportation facilities, and you need the knowledge expertise in handling certain type of commodities to help them to reach to your target market. Mm -hmm. So that's where we uh, we can be part of it to support you, uh, riding on our. Uh, logistic networks all over the world in over 100 countries with 1,400 uh, sites across the globe. So, and with almost 20,000 our employees who are logistic professionals and who can work with our customers closely and help them to, you know, to, to, to understand the market they want to go and provide their transportation services help them to clear their custom, uh, customs. Um, and for certain type of uh, uh, industries like pharmaceuticals, and they have very strict uh, demands on lead times and on the handlings to make sure the, the products can arrive the market uh, with the, the, the intact quality. So, um, it, well, it looks simple but actually involves a lot of work behind it yeah, yeah. I can imagine I mean freight uh, freight uh, services are we talking about boats and ships airplanes airplanes trucks, trucks yeah feeders wow, okay. <laughs> even rail you know uh, even from rail. from China to Europe or, or the other way around you can also use rail freight okay, right. so maybe that. you can like tour us around of your yeah, booth yeah, and tell us your, more your, your yeah. yeah first I want to introduce you to this um, you know, we're, we're a logistic company. For sea freight, normally we use containers to, to move cargoes. You might be wondering why we have a yard, sailing yard here. Yeah. yeah. That's something, as, it's part of our theme this year, sustainability. Because the logistic industry, we create 7% carbon emissions annually. And uh, we want to protect the environment. So we want to do something, start from us. So we sponsored um, the, the sailing team, Team Malaysia. So we name it as Sea Explorer, which is our digital uh, intelligent online uh, platform, which provides visibilities of all the uh, sea freight train links and also uh, our um, uh, schedules and also carbon emission uh, data. Um, the team actually departed uh, from France uh, on November the 8th. They're going to do a around the globe trip with completely emission free challenge. Oh, wow. So it's amazing. They're going to travel around the world, underwater, within uh, 80 days. Yeah. And we're glad we're a partner of them. So okay. and we, 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 we put this yacht here. We want to generate awareness uh, of sustainability, especially for our in industry. Okay. So, um, it works well because people come by and, and they see it, they ask questions, and we tell them the story behind it. Nice. Yeah. So and, uh, uh -huh. Go ahead. And uh, we want to be uh, achieving our goals uh, by uh, uh, achieve um, zero emissions, net zero carbons by year 2030. 2030. Started from us and from our partners along the uh, uh, value chain. Okay. Yeah. So because uh, your company has uh, has committed to something like this, yeah. in a way, you're kind of also encouraging your partners to yeah. get on board and, exactly. and and provide instead of using you know a a, um, a train or a truck that uses uh, uh, fossil fuels yeah. that you want something more renewable yeah. and encourage that in order in your partners. Okay. Well, um, by moving the goods uh, from A to B, you still involve trucks, ships, airplanes. Yeah. You still create emissions but for us we want to help our customers help our partners to reduce the carbon emissions right. or compensate our emissions by investing in projects which reserves the nature that's our that's our purpose we want to deliver the progress to the society by doing this perfect perfect and so um yeah, what else do you have here? Uh, I, <laughs> I wish I could be part of their team, like, 
around 80 days on the, a sea no travel cool. around yeah uh, yeah can, can we get on this on this on this boat can we follow <laughs> <laughs> you can follow us on youtube on youtube yeah, perfect in Malaysia, very well said okay. very well said demonstration areas yeah we are logistic providers we don't have um, physical goods to show but we want to offer our customers the visibility of their supply chain you know help them to um, to, to, to explore the possibilities uh, of the train lanes uh, of the, 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 the freight rates and also the uh, carbon emission uh, numbers they, then they can choose uh, the solutions, the service matches uh, their demand, whether they want to ship it in the shortest lead time or if they want to ship their cargo in the most environment friendly way. And it will also offer them the visibility uh, uh, of their supply chain in case there's something happened and they know and they, we can get involved in the first place and you can offer uh, our, our contingency uh, our plan to help them in, uh, to minimize their, their uh, uh, interruptions to their supply chain. You can imagine like for farmer products, you want to make sure it delivered to the customers or the ones who need those products uh, when it matters, right? You don't yeah. want to ship it too late or... And then the product gets ruined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And same for the perishable uh, products, mm -hmm. uh, like flowers or, 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 or fresh fruits, vegetables. And you want to you wanna have those products, you want the consumers to, to, to experience them, to, to enjoy them when they're still fresh. Exactly. If it's delivered too late, you know, and it creates waste and uh, you... As a customer, you get uh, as our customer, you you have losses. So we yeah. want to extend the shell time, and also minimize waste by uh, offering our professional and um, perishable solutions. And for like automotive and industrial, many companies they they optimize their supply chain by minimize their their inventories. So that puts very high requirements on the. Uh, 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 supply chain efficiency, so they need a partner like us to ensure the flow of all the parts of the product, make sure their production lines run smoothly. So that's our mission, you know, to deliver sustainable and also uh, efficient uh, logistics supply chain services to our customers all over the world. Yeah. Very nice. And Very at nice. our booth, we don't have single piece of paper, so everything is in digital format. Oh, okay. Yeah, to save the environment, we want yeah. to be the role model for the industry. So if the customer wants to understand us better, we always do a, a, a demo, for example, these days. Okay. Under COVID-19 time. Okay. And, um, you know, C-Free, Afri, they, they are facing a lot of uh, capacity issues, and the price is going up. So we, through our platforms, especially eShip Asia, that's something we tailor made for our customer in Asia. They were able to have the visibility of their options, their free options, the price, and we prioritize their cargoes to make sure they can deliver in time, even in a difficult time like COVID-19. Wow. So that's, that's it, what we do, yeah. And I'm sure that was a challenge this year, right? To of try course, to, yeah. of course. Yeah, so um, that, that's impressive. What are some of your uh, most common type of customers in terms of you know, uh, shipping and logistics? It might be a very general, very open-ended <laughs> question. But, yeah, especially uh, here in, in China, like Chinese market. Okay. Yes, it's, exactly. We have a lot of uh, vertical solutions. We serve customers in a variety of industries, but related to our, our CIE, which is our import theme our, our event, so we're featuring uh, our uh, industrial solutions like farmer and uh, our healthcare. Yeah, it's uh, it's the hottest uh, topic I think uh, this year right. because of, uh, of the the pandemic. Yeah. And also we have solutions. Maybe we can work around it. Like uh, consumer, consumer covers. FMCG, fast, uh, fast moving consumer goods, uh, lifestyle, luxuries, e-commerce. We are a big consumption market with 1.4 billion people. And uh, I saw some numbers like by year 2030, uh, 
our domestic consumption market will reach to a really big number that provides a lot of opportunities for our customers, not only here but also overseas, to export their premier uh, exotic products so consumers in China, they can afford them, they can enjoy them. You know, that's, that's the whole purpose for, for CIE as well. So we can offer solutions to ensure those uh, merchandise can reach to the Chinese market in a very short uh, uh, lead time and in a good uh, quality. The quality remain intact. You were reading my mind. I was just thinking the same thing. I was wondering, I'm sure a lot of the, the companies that brought their, their products to showcase here at CIA, yeah. they probably used a service like, like Kurnagel, right? Yes, and yeah. actually we also helped them to ship their samples. Right for attending CIA. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so. A, a very important component that sometimes, you know, as a you know, common person that's not involved in this sort yeah. of business, we never think of something like that. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad sure. that CIA is providing a space for you guys so that we can learn about, yeah. you know, what you offer and what's needed in order to get, like you said, your product from point A to point B. So uh, exactly. that was very important. We want to go above and beyond, right. you know, to help our customer to reach to their target market. Mm -hmm. So are you coming to the next year's CIIE? <laughs> well, um, I have to say, uh, what's impressive about CIIE is every year we come here, it's our third year, we still see, we see, we met old friends. And we also see a lot of uh, our new exhibitors and we become friends again. So we want to be part of it. You know, we want to, we want to, what we want to know what's what's next, what's going to happen, and we want to be part of it to facilitate the trade, to 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 help them to uh, to move their to sell their cargoes to China. And we also want to uh, to help uh, Chinese consumers. They can enjoy uh, the premier products, and not only consumer products, but also those uh, high-end equipment. And we, we see this year, which became another trend, uh, you know, to, 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 to reach the Chinese market, uh, you know, f uh, in the shortest of time. Okay. Yeah. All they right. need, you know, this. Well, we really Thank appreciate you. your yeah. time. It was very Thank you so much. Yeah, it was Hope very you educational. Like our boots. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, very it's educative. always very impressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I learned uh, we a really lot. really appreciate your time and uh, good luck. And uh, I hope uh, to see you next year. Sure. Yes. Oh, see, 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 Thank see, you so see, much. See, uh, just some trivia. Oh. This is a real moss. Oh, oh, is it really? I thought. Real moss. <laughs> oh, wow. Just if you a, check that out. Just a sprinkle of water and remains green. Well, I, I honestly that, that I echoes all the theme of sustainability. You know, Very nice. we don't cut trees, and uh, after the show, we take them back. Wow! 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 Okay. Excellent! Excellent! Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're gonna be moving on here, guys. Uh, we've got yeah. at least two other uh, exhibitors. Yeah. And so. Um, and it's so I'm, impressed, like they put so much effort in even designing this booth. Exactly. I mean, yeah. even just with the with the with the moth uh, that they were they were talking about. I mean. Just to have some green out here, I thought that was fake, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Uh, but it, it goes to it reemphasizes our point of sustainability, like she said. Uh, so it's it's obviously another feature, something else that they show off here to try to yeah. uh, prove a point. So we're moving on here to the next one. Yeah, this one you must use it often. You must use it <laughs> often. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We I, we see it all over the world. Probably one of the most recognizable logos and brands out there. So uh, unlike the the other one that we learned a lot from that, but exactly. that's we are not their targeted audience and t customer. But this one definitely. Right, uh, yeah. because even though they were talking about uh, freight and uh, logistical services, this is a different type of logistics, but similar in fashion in, in, in which they need to get products from point A from point to point B. Yeah. And uh, and that is UPS. Yeah. So we got UPS here. Uh, obviously a very uh, uh, well-known brand, at least in the U.S., but I know they're also all over the world. Also here in China, yeah. Uh, here in China as well. It's probably one of the main uh, services here for delivering packages, correct? Yeah, especially for people uh, like us. We like to buy co cosmetics from the U.S. Yeah. or the U.K., yeah. So those of you that are watching right now, I have a quick question. If you can answer this without looking it up online, <laughs> what does UPS stand for? Try to send your answer. And uh, do you know what it stands for? 
No, because you told me not to look it up, so I'm <laughs> going to wait your right. answer. United uh, Postal Service. Oh, United, so, uh, pretty po simple United there. Postal right, Service. So but that's UPS for y'all. And uh, we've got somebody from UPS uh, to talk to. And uh, hello there. Thank hello. you so much for being here. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So you can you can you can uh, 那今年是我们UPS第三年参加进博会 很有效的维护这个社交安全距离，可以有有助于防范这个疫情。那在这个智慧物流区呢，我还想特意介绍一下。好，OK。Yeah, so I was asking like what what's special about this year's theme and this booth, and then she told us this is their third year coming to CIIE, and then uh, that is very special, which is a drum, and then. In the U.S., they already succeed in delivering goods in the communities. But we're yeah. using a drone. In, oh, in the okay. U.S. Wow. Residential area. Residential area. The residential areas. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. It's because not... of the COVID-19. Yeah. Oh, great point for yeah, COVID-19. It's very important uh, to maintain the social distance with the drone delivery. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. And so uh, this is a, a really live. Uh, he, he looks like a real man. Is this a mannequin or? Yes, it's real. You can talk with Wait. him. He's not moving at all. Can I touch him? He's not blinking his eyes at all. <laughs> That's incredible. He doesn't move at all. He doesn't even tear, tear up. But this is a typical <laughs> uniform that uh, UB, uh, UPS right, uniform. Right, from UPS. He's a real man. He's a real man. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my God, he, he doesn't... Where did you find him? <laughs> uh, He's an artist we invited oh, very and to nice. demonstrate the UPS stable service. Oh, stable service, that's why he is not moving. Stable <laughs> service. But wow. It's very it, interesting. Very impressive. Very, yeah, very impressive here. Obviously, a lot of the companies are trying to impress people, uh, visitors. So tell us a little bit more, uh, apart from the drone and this, this, uh, uh, <laughs> this uh, mannequin Art. looking actual man. <laughs> Uh, what else can you can you tell us about UPS and and what it's doing in the Chinese market? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Or, okay. Unless you need some translation. Yeah. Okay, 就是在你们可以给我们简单介绍一下 UPS 现在中国市场的一些基本情况。好，那我们今天其实在展会现场也展示了我们的智慧物流 Smart Logistics。啊，我们对，你可以看到我们有四块互动屏啦，所以我们这里面会有客人可以互动触摸的界面。我们会介绍我们的微信寄件。那说 WeChat shipping 是这个屏吗？嗯，其实我们可以看一下这一块屏，这四块屏其实都可以。啊，我们举个例子啊，我们这互动屏上有供应链诊断与优化，supply chain，然后 WeChat shipping。所以微信寄件呢，是我们这次想要特别推荐的。那大家知道，国内快递用微信寄件是比较简单和方便的，但是国际物流它比较复杂。但UPS针对中国市场、中国客户的需求，我们为本地客户特意定制了微信寄件的
So basically, a China, Chinese market is one of their most important markets, and they're trying to find some more digital solutions to make it more efficient and, and, and uh, more convenient for Chinese customers. Uh, we can see the third area, our green okay. uh, green area. Sustainability. Uh, 啊，除此之外，我们可以看到右边的，这是我们的一个电动车了。这个电动车其实占了我们中国车队的百分之十。我们通过使用电动车，也可以实现我们的环保还有可持续发展的理念。So basically, they're the same like sustainability are one of their most important theme, and um, they have many customers and partners here in China. And this is the electric vehicle, which accounts like ten percent. Of the whole uh, operation, operation yeah. here oh, in China, like oh, 10% wow. of their operation are electric electric vehicles. Okay, that's very impressive. Is that only in China, or do they also have electric vehicles in other parts of the market uh, or world? What the electronic vehicle, um, the total number is about uh, 100,000. Oh, sorry, it's it's around 10,000 and 300. But in China, yeah. Uh, the total number accounts for one tenth of the total vehicles in China. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And do you expect in the future to uh, continue to uh, transform all of your trucks and 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 uh, transportation services into electric? We will continue to evaluate and uh, okay. we will put more efforts to develop the sustainability. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Very interesting here. Very interesting. Yeah. It's it's no. a great booth. It's obviously very attractive. <laughs> you, you've got a, a lot of things going on and little teddy bears and everything. There's a little bit of uh, of something for everybody. Yeah. yeah. I got to make a quick correction though because I said it's United uh, Postal Service. It's United Parcel Service. Yes. United Parcel Service. Parcel Service. service. Yeah, parcel service. service. Yeah. So I apologize for that. <laughs> I was already okay. bragging that yeah. I knew already. So United I Parcel Service. Now we, yeah. Yeah. now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Well, thank you so, so much for, for all your time and for explaining uh, the services that you're providing here. Yeah. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Yes. thank you so much. Goodbye. Very, very, uh, very impressive there. So, um, oh, the man moved. The yeah. mannequin. <laughs> he finally moved. <laughs> he's, he's off. He, he, yeah. <laughs> he it's amazing it. that they're using drones to, to do the delivery, make everything like much easier and more efficient I guess right I mean one one when you're a child you don't think that these things would actually be possible by the time you grow up yeah and here we are uh, the drones and, and everything th just to think that this is actually already being implemented is crazy I haven't seen it myself yet but I'm sure in the next several years it's gonna be the most common thing to be getting parcels by machines drones, robots, robots. Drones. Yeah. yeah exactly uh, so I can't wait for for that era to happen. I think it'll be very cool. And talking about like trading services uh, exhibition hall, mm -hmm. so we definitely have accounting and consulting services. Um, we we see many many companies here, and uh, right now we're at PwC, which is accounting um, uh, consultant company. Uh, company. And, okay. Yeah, and we're going to talk to one of their China partner, Eric, um, and he's going to introduce. Uh, a bit to, of their the services. Because yes, yeah. I've seen the logo. I just, I, I actually, honestly don't know what they do. Their building so. is actually opposite of our office. Yeah, like that tall Beijing. building back, yes, in back in Beijing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's. Hi there, sir. How are you? Good are you? Hello. Hello. Very nice to meet you. Thank Very you so nice much. Hello, Eric. Hello. Here, I'll let you stand yeah. over here so that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. She has yeah. a microphone. Okay. Uh, um, Welcome. So, thank you so Good much. To have uh, you, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I've seen your logo, yes. and uh, it's actually, we were talking about this, it's across the building from where we work in Beijing, and I've seen it in many other places, but I, honestly, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so, and maybe some of the people who are watching might not know either. Can you give us a brief overview of what a PwC is? Yes, PwC was originally an accounting firm. It's one of the biggest. Uh, accounting firm in the world and also we have been uh, rated as number one 
firm in China for the past 17 years. And at the same time, we're not only a, an accounting firm, we're also an integrated professional service provider. So we provide accounting services, tax services, transaction-related services, digital solutions, risk, uh, risk assurance. Uh, and then uh, we have uh, some uh, uh, new services as well, like you know, training services and our U Plus uh, program. And also we provide ESG uh, services and also we provide uh, City Plus services to help the government to plan for a city. Okay. So yeah, we, we provide a full range of uh, services in uh, today's uh, business world. In the business world, okay. So uh, another question I have is, you know, what are specific examples? Give us real life scenarios of when you would come in uh, to a business and help them with, with these kind of services you mentioned. Yes, traditionally for all the services, uh, we provide uh, all the services for companies uh, around the world, uh, so some companies need an annual audit. And also when you go to a capital market, when you're doing an IPO, you will need an accountant to provide services. Yeah. So that's that was one of our core businesses. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you, when, when you encounter uh, various issues with tax, you know, you, when you have a tax structure issues and when you have a dispute, uh, you can ask us to help. Uh, and then we provide a lot of consulting services. We're, it's, it's one of our core businesses as well, uh, ranging from transaction related, you know, from a, a pre transaction a due diligence and transaction structures, negotiation support, uh, after transaction, after merger integrations, synergies, and then also exit services when you want to exit, dispose your assets, uh, investments. We also come in and help. And then for the uh, new services, you know, we provide, as I mentioned, U Plus training services to a lot of uh, graduates, so that to help them to uh, fit into the market and and uh, uh, become a, uh, you know, uh, to work for companies and, and provide those soft skills and hard skills uh, to become a talent uh, in a financial and accounting industry, and also. When a government wants to have some, um, you know, you know, uh, uh, planning for a city uh, or big events, uh, we also can come in and help. For example, we're the uh, official, as you can see from there, official accounting and financial services provider for 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Impressive. Very yeah. Nice. I'm sure you, uh, you feel very uh, fortunate to, to, to have that responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, so, We're very uh, proud to be uh, participating in those events. We are also in, uh, providing services to Asian Games and the University Games in Chengdu as well. Impressive, yeah. very impressive. Now, tell us, uh, you know, how um, the, the, the services that you provide, is it typically to uh, like government uh, organizations, is it typical to like big businesses and enterprises, or do you also provide these services for like the smaller scale uh, businesses? Mm -hmm. Yes, we provide services to all kinds of uh, to, to companies and organizations of different sizes. Okay. Uh, some of them are uh, big, some of them are, are relatively smaller, but they are growing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I think, um, in addition to the big companies, one of our inspirations or you know my personal passion is to help companies to grow you know from a, a, a smaller company to a sizable and scale up so yeah so very all kinds of companies yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and Very government nice. as well yeah i have um one silly question but is is the consulting fee like expensive well, it, it depends. That's a great question, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think it all depends on the value we deliver. Uh, I think we are trying to make our services and our delivery model very efficient and effective. You know, we're utilizing a lot of technologies, as you can see. You know, in this booth, we're using a lot of digital technologies, and also we're using uh, a lot of new solutions. Like we have a share service center uh, in China, so that we can. While we maintain the quality of our services, we focus on deliver value to our clients. So I don't know if I answered that question, but we, we, you know, we try very hard to, to make sure our service fee is very competitive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah.
event, and uh, obviously you, what's maybe the latest product, or I would say product, because you're, you're more of a, it's not a, a tangible thing, yeah. but uh, what's, what's the latest program or, or, or service that you are offering uh, to, to people that are visiting here at CIIE? What's, what's the yes. latest uh, that you guys have developed? Yeah, uh, we we are devo uh, we are presenting a lot of services uh, in the CIIE. For example, one thing I want to mention here is uh, uh, we also committed to a net zero uh, by 2030. And that means also paperless everything. And yes, okay. we are internally we are transforming uh, our business model and a lot of you know travel arrangement, meeting arrangement, so that we can achieve 2030. But at the same time, we have developed a lot of products to help our clients to achieve that. So we have developed a uh, ESG digital tool this year to help our clients to understand where they, there is, they, they are uh, at the ESG uh, journey and then where they can go, you know, uh, and how do they pre present their ESG results and reporting to the uh, relative stakeholders. That's one thing. And also, we have issued a lot of uh, uh, market research report and our insight, insights and uh, thought leadership during the CIIE. Uh, for example, we have uh, issued a 2020 sports report uh, for the world and for China during CIIE. Interesting. You know, given, uh, give our, our visitors and also the uh, audience our, our thoughts and our observations of the sports uh, market in the world and also in China especially under the COVID-19 situation, the challenges they're facing. We, uh, we also issued a report on the uh, personal data assets. Uh, so those, those are the uh, things we um, presented during the CIIE. Well, yeah. certainly appreciate your time. Thank you for educating us, because uh, <laughs> now I know every time I walk well by a building, I'm like, I know what that is. <laughs> and <laughs> I can explain to, We need to work them. harder to <laughs> uh, explain our services yeah. to everybody. Well, yeah, no, I'm, sure, I'm sure within the realm of the market of, you know, where, wherever your services are needed, I'm sure you know, you're known very well. Yeah. But when it comes to Danny and I, who, uh, you know, are, are different kind of folks <laughs> in the media, we, we know a little bit of everything, but not a lot of whole about something. So yeah. thank you for educating us. Thank I you really so all right. Thank you. Have, have a good time. Uh, we're going to move on here to our, our last exhibitor, right? Yeah. Thank you so much again Enjoy. and good luck. Thank yeah, you. good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. Yeah. I feel that um, from the logistic companies to like those uh, accounting consulting services and everything, sustainability is the main thing yeah, of this year. Uh, I, I, yeah, so far everybody, I think everybody so far has said that uh, maybe for, with the exception of probably uh, uh, the first one with the Rockefeller Arts Center, but yeah. because that, that's probably not related to sustainability, but everybody is trying to commit by 2030 yeah. to have something, you know, either, either lower their emissions uh, to, to carbon like zero, dioxide, yeah. Yeah. or getting rid of uh, the waste, paper, yeah. exactly, so that was very interesting. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I'm sorry, I said we had another exhibitor, but that yeah, was this is it, the actually. last actually. We're running yeah. out of time here. We do really appreciate everybody for watching. It's been, you know, a very uh, a great last several days. What's the highlight for you, uh, Danny, here at CIAE? Uh, like for me, this time is to see there is still, even though under the COVID-19 pandemic, still so many people come, very crowded every day, mm -hmm. and um, talk to some of the uh, elite uh, companies. Mm -hmm. um, actually, there are over 20, 250 uh, companies here, and 50 among, 50 among them, 50 of them are 500 fortune. Um, wow. So, uh. talking to them, and they make great deals here with China. And actually, China is the first um, country in the size actually said that we want imports. Mm -hmm. So, that's very impressive. And yeah, this is the third we, year of this kind of expo. You're right. I mean, every time I, when, when people think of China, they think, oh, China, Chinese products uh, are exported all over the world. Yeah. But yeah, this is a great example of how China also needs products from outside. And, and, and that's what all these companies are trying to do here is, is to provide new services, provide, uh, offer new products. And uh, it's a very competitive environment here. You know, when I, I, this is my first time and my impression was 
you know, just the sheer number of companies that are here that are, uh, are, are doing everything they can to make sure they have a presence. And it gave me the impression of how important CIIE is for mm. all of these businesses, especially during the COVID times, like you mentioned, mm. uh, because uh, it, you know, just a couple months back, you would think that this is something to, that, that would have been impossible to anywhere else yeah. in the world. And so um, the fact that the, that this was able to happen is it speaks volumes, and it gives hope to people that we can still carry on if if we're able to manage, Man yeah. you know, COVID and uh, and be able to continue with with, uh, with with business, right, with trading. Yeah, and also stay tuned with CGTN. Uh, we're going to um, announce. They're going to announce the the, the deal of this year. Um, later, maybe in about two hours. In about two hours, okay. Yeah. Last year they made 71 uh, billion. Point, yeah, billion dollars in agreed deals, right? Yeah, in the uh, works of, yeah. I really wonder what it's going to be this year, especially given that COVID factor. Uh, we don't know if it'll be a, uh, more than that, the same or, or less, mm -hmm. but uh, stay tuned, uh, like you said, because uh, that, that's going to be coming up here in the next couple of, uh, of hours. Uh, that's going to be announced here at CIIE. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, anything to. else you want to add? No, I'm, I'm so glad I came this year and um, yeah, it's a great experience. Right, and, and I appreciate the invitation. Thank you guys for inviting me here. Uh, very okay. educational and uh, eye-opening, uh, definitely. I hope we can come back next year as well yeah. and continue talking about what's new. Uh, and, and that's really so emblematic, emblematic of CIIE. Everybody who's watching, thank you so much for following us. Continue to be engaged send your comments on social media, uh, whichever platform you're watching us on. And again, stay tuned for that information we're gonna have for you about the results of uh, the deals that were made here at CIIE in the year 2020. Thank you so much for watching. And bye for now. Goodbye.